Hello, and welcome to Legal Translations. I am Jose Vega, your federal court certified interpreter here for tips and tricks uh, for attorneys and for paralegals that use interpreters and use translations uh, as part of their work. Today, I bring to you one of the interpreter nightmares. We have nightmares, uh, and there's something that we hate uh, about when an attorney complains about our work, when there's an objection during a deposition about our work. It's the worst thing that we ever want to hear, uh, and we hate it. Uh, just so you know, we hate you every time you object to one of our interpretations in a deposition. Um, and <laughs> I had to say it. I had to say it. Uh, so yesterday or the day before, was it even today? I don't know. Um, I forget about these depots. There's so many things and and just one after the other. Uh, so many of these jobs. There was one objection, luckily only one objection during the deposition. Um, and the word was evidentemente in Spanish. And uh, in English, I said, obviously. Given the context, I believe that obviously was obviously the best term to use. And context has a lot to do with it. And let me show you something on the screen. Um, here we go. So this is a, an online uh, thesaurus, an online dictionary. And we see that, lo and behold, evidently is a synonym of obviously or obviously is a synonym of evidently and also uh, pat uh, patently, doubtlessly, indisputably, incontestably, clearly, undoubtedly, without question, doubtlessly, plainly, manifestly, unmistakably, and incontrovertibly. I could have used any one of these terms uh, and, and still been fine. Um, guys, uh, there's always cross. There's always cross. You could say, I object to the interpretation or I object to the translation, uh, but we can clarify during cross. And that's it, right? Or you can just say something to the, just keep it to yourself. This is not legal advice, of course. You're all our lawyers. So if you're not a lawyer uh, or you're not a paralegal, please don't watch this video. Turn it off. I only talk to lawyers and paralegals. Uh, and I'm not a lawyer. I do not give legal advice. Okay, so uh, if uh, if you have cross, just leave it for cross, right? Just leave it for cross and you can clarify anything. Uh, Miss Jones, so when you were asked about this, you said the word evidently uh, in Spanish, evidentemente. Did you mean obviously or did you mean evidently or something to that effect? Or what did you mean? Can you please clarify? I understand, you know, this word may be very convenient for you at a certain point in time, uh, but put yourself in our shoes. We hate it. We hate it. And it, it we feel that you're attacking us personally. It should not be the case. Uh, opposing counsel may not speak Spanish, right? The, the, the attorney that uh, was doing direct examination may not speak Spanish. And you may be very smart in the way you conduct yourself, right? Your behavior, your demeanor, your act. Uh, and you may be very convincing to them that we actually made a mistake. When in fact, you know, we didn't really make that bad of a mistake. And it makes us look bad. We just look like jerks and like, like we don't know what we're doing. Uh, sometimes we don't. We make really bad mistakes. Uh, but... Hey, sometimes you know what? A tip, a tip for you guys: ignore the Spanish. I mean, if you have a bad interpreter, you have to listen to the Spanish. But uh, if if you have a, a decent interpreter, you trust the interpreter, you get to the point where you really trust this guy or gal. Um, don't listen to the Spanish because there's many things going on in our mind. There's many reasons why we're using a particular term. Sometimes it has to do with a question with double negatives. There's many reasons why we choose a certain word or why I choose a certain word. Um, 
And if you're going to be analyzing that in your mind at the same time that you're thinking uh, about your job and uh, and asking the next question, if you're the one asking the questions, uh, it's going to get very confusing. It's going to get very confusing for you. Um, and But hey, you do what you got to do. Uh, we're just here for you. We're working for you. If you want us to jump, we'll say how high, right? Uh, as long as we're neutral, as long as we're independent and we're not favoring any any of the uh, the two parties. Uh, we're here for you guys, for the court, so that the judge can understand what the heck is going on, uh, especially in the transcripts where they don't have the benefit of a video or audio. Uh, we're here for the court. Um, so, well, thank you very much. That's it for today's video. Like, subscribe, as always. Please hit that bell, uh, the notification, so you can get notified every time we have a new video. You can also go to the blog. Please visit the blog if you go to the uh, link in the uh, comment section, in the description of the video. Just click on that. It takes you to the blog. Every video that I post has an accompanying uh, blog article which expands on this that we're saying here. And so you can uh, click on that and subscribe to get the blog notifications as well. Uh, if you subscribe to this video, to the channel, and you get the notifications, uh, they're posted at the same time. So you can also, instead of subscribing to the blog, which you can do, you can also just click on the comments on uh, the description of each video and you'll get to see you know, it'll take you to the matching article on the blog well thank you very much and uh remember to visit us at legaltranslations.net where we speak the language of your world